They're lying to you. Right now, at this very moment, something is moving through our solar system, and the world's most powerful governments know exactly what it is. I'm about to show you evidence that will make you question everything NASA has ever told you. This is 3i Atlas, the object from another star system that just passed the sun five days ago. And what happened during that pass? They won't tell you, but I will. In the next seven minutes, you're going to see. The NASA scientist who broke ranks and went public. Why Elon Musk deleted his tweet about it in six hours. The one chemical that proves this isn't natural. And the countdown to when we'll know for sure. But first, let me tell you what they're hiding. October 29th. Five days ago. While you were scrolling TikTok, eating breakfast, living your life, 3i Atlas, a 500-meter object from outside our solar system, passed 130 million miles from the sun. That's closer than Mars. For three weeks, they told us they lost sight of it in the sun's glare. Lost sight of an interstellar object with $3 billion spacecraft watching. Soho. Parker Solar Probe. Stereo. You expect me to believe they just lost it? Here's what they're not telling you. When it emerged from behind the sun, something changed. It got brighter. Six times brighter. In days. Dr. Tom Statler from NASA called it extremely unusual. That's NASA speak, for we have no idea what's happening. But here's where it gets interesting. Harvard just released a paper. Dr. Avi Loeb, the man who discovered Oumuamua, he created something called the Loeb scale. Zero means natural. Ten means definitely alien technology. Three I Atlas scores a four. Let me repeat that. A Harvard astrophysicist just said there's a 40% chance that right now an alien spacecraft is flying through our solar system. And NASA's response? Quote, this is a comet. End of story. End of story. Let me tell you why that's complete nonsense. In August, the James Webb Space Telescope analyzed this thing's tail. They found pure nickel gas. Not nickel with iron. Just nickel. In 40 years of studying comets, scientists have never seen this. You know why? Because it's impossible. Natural. Comets form. With iron nickel alloys. Always together. That's basic chemistry. Pure nickel vapor only happens two ways. One, industrial separation processes. Two, high temperature ablation of spacecraft hull material. But here's the kicker. 3i, Atlas. Surface temperature, 600 Kelvin. Nickel's vaporization point, 3186 Kelvin. The math doesn't work, unless the heat source is internal like an engine. Now you're asking, is he serious? Let me show you eight things NASA can't explain. Anomaly number one, the trajectory. This thing's orbit is aligned within five degrees of our solar system's plane. The probability of that happening by chance, 0.2%. Almost like someone aimed it here. Anomaly number two, the anti-tail. Normal comets have tails that point away from the sun. This one has a jet pointing toward the sun. That's not how physics works, unless it's thrust. Anomaly number three, non-gravitational acceleration. It's speeding up, away from the sun, with no visible outgassing. 135 kilometers per day squared. NASA has no explanation. Anomaly number four, the irradiated crust. JWST detected a surface transformed by billions of years of cosmic radiation. This thing is older than our solar system. It's been traveling between stars since before Earth existed. Anomaly number five, carbon dioxide richness. It's loaded with CO2, way more than any natural comet, and almost no water ice. That's backwards. Anomaly number six, carbonyl sulfide. This molecule is extremely rare. It forms under specific thermal conditions, the kind you'd see in controlled environments like a life support system. Anomaly number seven, the density. Hubble says it's 500 meters across. 
but its gravitational signature says it's way denser than rock. Metal. Dense. Anomaly number eight. The brightening pattern. That six-fold increase in brightness? It doesn't match ice sublimation. It matches a reflective surface changing orientation. Like solar panels deploying. Now here's where this gets really weird. October 28th. One day before perihelion. Elon Musk tweets, Watching something interesting near the sun. SpaceX telescopes locked on. We'll share if it's not classified. Six hours later, deleted. When someone asked him about it, he replied, Some things are better left unsaid. What did he see? What did SpaceX's telescopes pick up that made him delete that tweet? Was it a transmission? Was it heat signatures that shouldn't exist on a comet? We don't know. Because he won't tell us. Look, I know how this sounds. I know half of you think I'm crazy right now. But consider this. Dr. Richard Moisel, head of planetary defense at the European Space Agency. He says, zero signs of non-natural origins. NASA's Tom Statler, this is a comet, period. Dr. Megan Schwamb, everything we're seeing is consistent with natural sublimation processes. Loeb is cherry-picking data. They're all calling him crazy. But they can't explain the nickel. They can't explain the trajectory. They can't explain the acceleration. And they sure as hell can't explain why Elon deleted that tweet. So, what happens next? Right now, 3i Atlas is moving away from the sun. In two weeks, November 20th, Hubble gets its first clear look post perihelion. They're doing ultraviolet spectroscopy, looking for sulfur to oxygen ratios, biosignatures. Then, December 8th, JWST observes again, looking for molecular changes, temperature anomalies, signs of composition shifts. If this thing is artificial, if it's a probe, perihelion was the test. Maximum heat, maximum radiation, maximum stress. That brightening we saw? Maybe it was an ice melting? Maybe it was a heat shield engaging? Or a signal? A transmission home saying, we survived the approach. We'll know in three weeks. November 20th. Mark your calendar. Because if Hubble finds what Loeb thinks it will find, if those biosignatures show up, everything changes. They told us Umamua was just a comet. Then they said it might have been artificial. Now they won't talk about it at all. They're doing the same thing with 3i Atlas. First, it was exciting. Then, it was unusual. Now, it's just a comet. The pattern is clear. When they find something real, they shut up. This is episode 3 of the Atlas 3i series. November 20th, I'm bringing you the Hubble results. December 8th, the JWST findings. One way or another, we're going to know the truth. Whether they want us to or not. Follow for updates. Share this before it gets taken down. Because if I'm right, we were not alone. And they've known for five days.